Coggle Maps. Sharing Coggle Maps with friends and colleagues. This is video 6 of the Coggle tutorial series and the link to the entire series is in the description below this video. Okay, so we've created a mind map and now we want to share it with other people. You'll note the icon here with the up arrow. If we hover over that, you'll see that it says share this Coggle. If I click on that, I can turn this into a public diagram. Now, if I want to embed this in my blog, I can click on this embed and get the code, which is pretty cool. And you can share the mind map on Twitter and Facebook. But let's say that we don't want to make this a public diagram. So let me click on that and turn that off. Now it's a private diagram again. This time I want to share this mind map privately with somebody else who can then access the map and give me some input so I can hover over this icon and click here to invite people to join this coggle. So I'm going to enter an email there and I'm going to press send. And you'll see that it's added an extra icon there. That is to represent the person you've invited to look at the mind map. Now watch this because this is super cool. You can click on that person and set permissions. For example, this by default is set to author. So I've just invited somebody else to look at this map and I've made them an author. And that enables them to edit the document. And what's really impressive is that you'll be able to see those edits as they have been made. Now you can also change those permissions to read and create copies, which will also enable them to download the mind map. And finally, you can set it to read only if you only want them to look at your mind map and not actually mess around with it. So that is super cool. And the fact that you can do these things using the free forever plan is pretty impressive. And finally, if you want to present this coggle to somebody, then you click on this icon and this will actually change it to a full screen. And you can still click and move your workspace. If this is a huge mind map and you want to present something, then you can move around the screen like this as you navigate through the branches. And the nice thing here is that you have full screen so there are no distractions. It's all about the mind map. This is very good stuff for a free tool. In the next video, which you can now see on the screen, we're going to be looking at the Coggle shortcuts you need to know. So click on the video and I'll see you there in a moment.